Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Blind Valkyrie Chronicle LP. Uh, I have done some grinding, just a little bit, got the levels up. Uh, the scouts are now on the better part of level 9, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, and I went back to the war cemetery and the dude wasn't offering me the order anymore, so I'm kind of angry. Uh, because it's like, oh, I can teach it to you, but it costs this much XP that you're just supposed to arbitrarily have. So, uh, fuck that guy. Um, but I did go to Castle Front Street and buy another, uh, another, like, expose chapter thing. No. No, report. That's what it is. So, uh, let's do the reports first. Uh, where is it? I'm trying to find it. Report. Largo's passion. Okay. So this one's about Largo. Oh, and it looks like it has a battle in it. That's actually interesting. I'm excited about this. Ah, starving! Why do they call us here at lunchtime? Ah, uh, you always get snippy the minute your stomach rumbles, Largo. Sorry, guys. Have you been waiting long? I'll get right to the briefing. You may already be aware of the recent hike in food prices. I do remember one worker at the mess hall mentioning that produce prices were rising. Apparently the Empire has taken hold of the trade route farmers use to ship their stock. What did you say? Vegetable crisis grips Gallia. Not a very exciting headline. You mocking the power of vegetables? What? I was just... What's your problem? Vegetables are like bombs packed tight with all kinds of important nutrients. Kids gotta eat them to grow up right. And the body's practically made of vegetables. Which are like bombs? In any case, Squad 7's next mission is to clear that trade route of Imperials. All right, time to put the fear of veggies into these imps. The fear of veggies? Is he serious? So Largo is a glutton, and he is extremely serious about food. Uh, this map looks to be more, uh, town-ish. Uh, so my new, my new strategy is to just always have Largo and Rosie on the, uh, like, out in the field along with Alicia, who will always be on the team, because she's really good anyway. Uh, just so I can get the extra turns even if I don't use them a lot. So, mission will be fought on the outskirts of Vassal. Okay, an enemy blockade has restricted traffic along this route. Fear of combat spilling over into civilian dwellings here prevents us from making this a large scale operation. You'll have to leave your tank on the sidelines and lead a small force of foot soldiers into the village. Okay. Your objective is to destroy the two tanks standing by on the road ahead. You'll likely to face heavy fire from those tanks if you just march along the road. Maybe a long way around, but you're better off heading through the village and securing a spot to attack safely. I'm afraid we can't spare a medic to accompany a team as small as the one you'll be taking in. To compound things, this is a night op. You'll be dealing with less visibility than you're used to. There'll be no sight lines to target more than a certain distance away, and you can't spot them in action mode. Consequently, if, one, if even one of your soldiers falls in combat, you'll have to pull out immediately. Mission failure. There's a lot of special conditions and requirements. Be careful as you plan each move out there. Well, file note, you won't have your tank's wireless set up, so you won't be able to issue orders during this mission. Holy shit! <laughs> Any ally falls in action. Okay, so I need to destroy both enemy tanks. God, who the f- Who is already in? Okay, so Largo is in, as I would think, only <laughs> level 2. And Welkin is in. And I can only have... <sighs> well, I want as many turns as possible. I need movement. Because she also has grenades. So both teams only have Okay. Alright, you're set to do Okay. So this is The bastards blocking our veggies are here, ain't they? Let's bust some heads. Shh, be quiet. You want them to hear us? This is a stealth operation with just a few soldiers. Lose anyone and the mission fails. Yeah, I got it. 
Now let's go get Violet for vegetables. Um, you want to work with me here, Largo? I like how it's finally not him being the one to be all like, turn, okay. oh god, <laughs> what's this guy saying? looking this way, so I need to sneak up behind with someone and get him. There's a person looking this way. Okay. So I need... Okay. So I was right going back around. Keep an eye on your allies' positions. Because basically, because I have to kill two tanks, I want to, uh... I love nature. I want to, uh, have Largo be un as unimpeded as possible in his movement through this map. Because his movement is not all that great, so to maximize it, I need to have him uh, take the least amount of extra steps as possible. close, him turn around, and him shoot me. Enemy tank spotted. Brace yourselves for incoming fire. Shit. Them out. One unit at a time. Good. Didn't think he was looking this way. Okay, I'm gonna end it. Please don't follow them in too deep. He'll probably come out around this way. So I'll move back here. So there's, uh, okay. I like this mission. This mission's pretty fun. I'll give it that. Because stealth missions are always pretty fun, and this game can easily have one. It's not, like, out there. She was a little bit stronger. See, I'm guessing all the enemies on this map are laid out so that you can always, like, one turn kill them. Okay. So Wilkin still has full health, whereas she doesn't. So I'm going to use him to come out. If I was good at... People. No new people. Try to strike the enemy's flank. Hop outside it. Oop. Oop. Gotta Cut love him. nature. Okay, so there's a person looking there. Um, I can move Largo anyway. Because I gotta move him this turn. I'm actually curious as to whether or not. Yeah, 
I wasn't really expecting to hit. I just wanted to try, really. Um, My turn, okay? okay. So, that's not a way I can go. I may just have to uh, go gutsy with it. And Put yourself in the enemy's blind spot. Fortunately, I can't do that, Commander. I'm going to pull back a little bit. Out of ammo. And I'm going to move Largo again. Just to expedite it a little bit. Keep that cover fire coming. But I'm going to use a ragnade on her. To make sure that she's all good. in that upper quadrant. So the next small area should be fine, I would think. Unless they just move there. But I'm not quite sure. Fortunately, it's not as easy as in other uh, third-person games to, like, camera fuck. To just... Enemy unit spotted! Enemy tank sighted! Watch out for incoming fire! Time to do your duty, soldiers. Okay, it's a gap turret. Enemy tank spotted. Brace yourselves for incoming fire. Shit. God damn it. You should be fine if you stay in their blind spot. Yeah, we're being sniped at! I understand, I think this means he can't shoot me. So I'm going to end that there. I'm gonna have Largo move in. too much health and did a little too much DPS that was more meant for him to do it. Curious, this walking like help. Yes, just keep up this pace. Okay, try to approach the enemy's blind spot. And that there, I'm guessing you're supposed to get in this grass over here. Just watch this. Kill the things. 
Well, everybody. Just throw grenades and whatnot. I gotta hope no one comes down from there or something. Because if they do, then I may have just royally fucked up. Yep. Unfortunately, he has a lot of ammo. Or, health. So... Luckily, this scout was dumb. If he moves again, he'll probably... Yeah, there it is. Just died from Welkin, because he was there watching. Okay, I believe that is everybody. Probably. I'm not gonna say without a doubt. Go. But I'm gonna have Welkin move in there first. In case it's not. Largo is useful. Fortunately, I only have three shots with this. So, gotta make them... Gotta make them count. Okay. That was good. Okay. Wish I could just immediately initiate another movement on him. You're done. God damn it. Seriously? I mean, I gotta try. Either use the lance now or next turn. There it is. Okay. Good. That was a fun mission. Operation complete. Both enemy tanks neutralized. Yeah. Damn. Holy shit. I just got a crap ton of stuff. I'm really glad I did it. Unfortunately, I wonder if you can do it again. Largo's dream. I'm guessing he just wants to be a farmer or something. That should end our vegetable shortage. <laughs> I ever tell you my old man's a farmer? Feels good to know I'm helping farm folk out. Growing up on the farm, I was always helping with the harvest out there in the field. I'm serious when I say veggies are king, too. The more you eat, the healthier you get. I agree. A lot of nutrients vegetables offer can't be found anywhere else. Plus, I feel like vegetables are a way to take in the power of nature as a whole. Power of nature, huh? Yeah. Plants grow by absorbing energy from the sun, the soil, even tiny microbes. Eating vegetables is like getting all that natural energy right from the source. <laughs> Never heard veggies told quite like that before. I tell you, boss, you got your head on right. You got my mark. <laughs> Thanks, Largo. That means a lot to me. Hey, boss, let me tell you a stupid dream I have. My folks old farm went under, and I want to start it up again as an organic veggie farm. Funny, huh? Big macho man goes from flinging bullets to being king of the carrot patch. What bullets are you flinging, dude? You're shooting spear rockets. <laughs> I'm not laughing. If you're dedicated, I'm sure you'll grow some fine vegetables. Once you're all set up and harvesting, you'll have to let me sample what you've grown. Boss, you'd be welcome to eat all you wanted. But you'd have to help with the harvest. And out on the farm, I'm squad leader. Be ready for the workout of your life. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm feeling good today. 
Benji's for all. Yeah, personnel tab. Okay, so let's save that so I don't have to do it again. Am I only allowed seven saves? Oh, uh, eh. <laughs> I did, uh, I did, uh, get a little save happy, didn't I? Um, okay, tab select. Let's go to headquarters so I can show you what I've done and put some more. Uh, XP into it. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the war cemetery to, like, to see if this old fuck has anything to set, give me. Hello again? I'm so, sorry. Fuck you. But I can think of no I you had stuff the last time I was here. Yep, bitch. I'll cuss at the elderly. Old people are useless to me. Unless they can give me shit. Okay. So as you can see, now we're at level 10. So... Almost at the goal. Uh, okay, so this one, this next level is gonna take a take a bit of doing, but it will be so worth it once we get to it. Okay, so I need ten thousand. I could grind. I usually get ten thousand. Well, every time I've done it, I get ten thousand from the uh, the map I grind on, which I can show you. Uh, I'm gonna save my money right now. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. And let's save. Uh, and it auto goes to the top. That's not fun. What the hell? Does it not let me save? Guess it just puts the most recent save there. Okay. Cool. I don't know what I expected, but it really wasn't this. Amazing, isn't it? I was surprised when I first came here too. are made of stone with a high ragnite concentration. It lights itself. It's uncanny. Look at this. Something's written on the wall here. It's in Old Northern script. Old Northern? It was the dominant writing system you grew up on. You still see it on a lot of old monuments. Do you know how to read it, Baldio? Yeah. We just covered it this last year. Let's take a look. It's more or less a recounting of the Darsen Calamity as the history books tell it. The Darsens unlocked some secret property of Ragnite and tried to conquer the continent. A hundred cities raised its fell light, ten hundred thousand men and beasts therewith. It says this area used to be one of the cities lost in that purge as well. So they did use Ragnite. It was in the middle of that destruction that the Valkyrs suddenly came into the picture. Supposedly they rose to face the Darksons, armed with sacred lances, blue with flame. That became the War of the Valkyr. I had a picture book about that as a girl. But it's fiction, right? Like a fairy tale. Ruins like these dot the European map. Traces of the culture that once ruled the continent. The majority of the anthropological community now agrees that the Valkyrie did exist. Wow, this is so educational. The Valkyrie won and rose to power, while the Darksons were scattered across Europa. There are some who worship the Valkyrie as the saviors of Europa even today. Meanwhile, the Darksons got branded with the stigma of their past and were persecuted. With no land of their own, they had to work as itinerant laborers and ragnite miners. Which is why there are so many Darksons still working in the industrial sector today. We never knew that. Come to think of it, Isara's dad was an engineer, wasn't he? Anyway, that's enough history for today. Let's keep checking for Imperial tracks.
New episode. Yeah. Darks and Calamity. Have to wonder what this topic will be about. I've been looking, but I still ain't seen nothing but sand. Those imps got some strange tastes if they're sunning themselves out here. What's got you, Rosie? Ain't like you to be so quiet. You got the rubs or something? You're foul, Largo. And I'm just annoyed. Takes some kind of brass to blow up a chunk of turf this big, don't you think? Looks like the dark hairs have been bad news for the rest of us folks since day one. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you think I mean? No archaeological proof exists to support the theory that Darkson's destroyed Barius. Look around. How much more proof do you need? And it's an unfair generalization to assume that all Darkson's cause trouble for others. You saying you don't? Look, it's cause of you people that I, that my whole... All right, time out, you two. You stay out of this, Largo. We're on patrol here. You keep squawking, and we're likely to get sniped. You too, kid. You know Rosie's got a temper on her. She wouldn't go off if you didn't talk back. I don't believe anything I've said is untrue. <sighs> stubborn as mules, both of you. Well, I would say Ysara is stubborn for the right sake. Like, I'm not just gonna sit there and be bitched at. It's like, oh, it's because of you people thousands of years ago for something that you did that all this trouble now is having. It's like, fuck you, man. I would shove my fingers so far up their fucking nose that it would just kill their brain. Fabio, what is that? It's called the Valkyrian Spiral. Okay, so what is it? I was talking about their power before, remember? The sacred blue flame? The spiral motif on their relief carvings are said to represent inexhaustible power. Oh, I didn't know that. Still, we haven't seen any Imperials here. Not even any signs of entry. I guess it's possible that this wasn't what brought the Empire out here. Well, the others are waiting. Let's go back. Sure, let's go. Huh? What the... Alicia, what just happened? I don't know. I barely even touched it and this door just opened. Whoa. Looks like it keeps going. An underground chamber in the Barius ruins. This is a huge discovery. Should we go in? Do you have to ask? I mean, she just did, buddy. Alright, let's take a look. So does that mean we're gonna have like a foot battle here? Like underground? I'm guessing so, based on the pictures. Because those two are probably in the chamber. Whoa. What is this place? It seems like it goes on forever. everywhere. What do they say, Faldio? I'm not sure. I wish I could tell you they're too ancient for me to decipher. Welcome. We're not alone. Who's there? How surprising to find you here. We don't get many visitors. I won't ask how you were able to break in. It's not really important. But you defile this sanctum with your presence. Uh, guys, that's Maximilian. 
Maximilian? Wait, but he's the enemy commander. Hold it right there! You take one more step and I'll shoot you down, I swear I will! Uh, what? Lower your weapon. Your lives are worthless to me, and I do not wish to stain this sacred place with blood. If you are determined to have this confrontation, why don't we settle it outside? Welkin. Welkin. So, you're the brat who's responsible. My compliments for the vassal bridge and the base in Cloden. You quite impressed Jaeger. He was singing your praises, boy. Silvario, come. Sir. Oh, now's our chance to take out their commander. She's right, Baldio. Let's go! Uh, right. God, these guys are not, like, quick draws. <laughs> like, usually it's like, oh, wow, I recognize that they're the enemy. <laughs> no, you got to talk to them first. You got to aggravate them. Just, you can't just glack them. Okay, so let's save. Yeah, it does seem like you only have a limited number of slots, but they do just default to, like, the top. Yeah. But... <laughs> Again, Maximilian doesn't seem much mo much older than Welkin. I catch. Enemy commander Maximilian is making for our base camp aboard a massive tank. Okay. It is imperative that you stop him before he reaches us. Your objective is destruction of that giant tank. It is equipped with machine guns on both sides, so brace yourself for a merciless reception as you approach. Keep your distance when possible, and use your tank and lancers to take those machine guns out one by one. Uh, this also has large caliber cannons at both fore and aft ends that can't be destroyed. Their range is as you see here. Okay, so forward, more range, back, less range. If you fire anything that stops in the range depicted, keep your tank and troops clear of them if you want to live. Okay, so we have to destroy the tank. So our base camp is destroyed, Welkin dies, enemy occupies the base camp, 20 turns pass. Okay. So it's gonna start at the top right and go down to the top left. So. And this is our tank. So we want. Engineer. Engineer. Because we need to keep the tank healed. But. We also want to have Alicia there because more moves. And here we're going to want to have um, I don't know, Rosie like here. And we're going to want some tank killing people. And I'm not sure about people. Um, but... I'll take a sniper just in case. Uh, because I can only see so many. So much stuff. So let's deploy and see how it goes. I'm not sure how long this episode's gonna be. I'm not sure how fast this battle's gonna take. That tank is our target. We have to stop it. Squad seven, move out. You know what's really annoying? You can't skip that thing. You can't be like, oh, even though it's like it seems to be a loading screen. Holy shit. <laughs> now, dear Gallians, flee or be crushed underfoot of the Basimus. Basimus. Your grace, I will eliminate the forces east of the temple. Then return to provide support. Very well. Though I doubt I shall require your assistance. The Batamis shall rest atop their riven camp before long. Welkin, take a look at that tank. Holy. With armor like that, 
I don't figure my anti-tank lance will do much good. And I don't like the look of that cannon. Standing in front of that thing's a bad idea. Let's watch and wait for now. It has to have some kind of weak point. Okay. So. Oh, wow. Oh, and there's a sniper back there. I thought this was like... I thought these were spread out. This thing. You say so. Act quickly and cleanly. Where is their sniper? That's a scout, that's a lancer, and that's a shock trooper. Easy I'm worried about the lancer doing stuff to my tank. More so than uh, the common ones. Uh, I'm going to move him right over here. End that. I don't know what to do right now, because my tank... Entering combat. Don't let them go! Chase them down! Okay. If I can just kill a couple of the turrets, should be good. Here we go. So might as well kill this turret right now. Because it's a threat to the people in front of it. So take take that out. And I wonder if I could stop it by just going in front of it, but it might just shoot me dead. To basically be hedging the bet that this person isn't going to be able to kill these guys as they are right now because they are in a trench which is a positive Just take Alicia and run her like back around Here we go. after I take out this next turret. Because this is particularly the reason why I want more moves because it allows me to do like stupidly insane shit like that. So now I'm going to spin and turn just so. When it comes around, I'm gonna be in, like facing the right position. Okay. Can you? How's their manpower now? Out of range. Okay. I'm gonna stop right there. I'm trying to sneak up on that sniper. seem to have the same weakness as other ones. Like the back radiator thing. Okay. So 
So now they're trying to flank. Which they'll be able to successfully do for a little bit. So that is one fault in the game that I feel like is very like prominent. Like from the from the get-go you can see everybody. And I can understand that. Like there are certain characters that you can see and you can't see. But then like when you're deploying units, you can't see the unit. You can't see the units that you will be able to see to figure out like how you should like place your people. It's very dumb. Okay. I have eight moves. I want to see if there's anything I can do right now. I just don't want to see the beauty out here. Y'all still with me, soldiers? Shock Trooper. Okay. I'm gonna try and take him out. Less people there are, the better. See what you get? Okay, so that was that guy. I'm not too worried about him. Because he'll probably be able to be taken out by other people. I am worried about this person. God damn it. Are you fucking serious? You give me a clear fu- Like... You give me a clear path. You tell me it's not interrupted and it bounces off a goddamn wall. And that shit pisses me off. So now I have to use another turn. Fucking... Fuck. Are you serious? And the grenade didn't kill him? That side is completely voided. Which is good. I'm just turning to. so it's easier. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take him out. That way she's behind cover. her here to 
essentially attract the scout. almost dead. I'm not sure how you're supposed to kill the Batamus, but I imagine killing all the turrets is the first step to it. My words and no victory. Order. All units attack. Oh. Didn't realize they could do that. That still dot the desert can be knocked over by a mortar or anti-tank by a mortar or anti-tank lance. I need to use a mortar on it. Well, a few rocks cannot hope to halt the behemoth; they can only slow it down. If the tank of the Batamus stands in the location a wall would fall upon, that wall cannot be knocked over. Act fast. Okay. Major damage sustained. Okay. Shit. Can't hit me from there. God damn it. Fucking Carl. Okay. So. One thing that I need to do. I need to get that sniper. He's being a bitch. bitch. Son of a fucking whore. I hate the freaking way that people move in this game. Have it be a button. Have movement be a goddamn button. Not some bullshit like, oh, you need to be walking at it. No, have it be mapped to a button. There are several buttons that aren't utilized. Not worry 
worried about him dying yet. You say so. Okay, you bitch. Easy mark. Okay, kill him. See what you get? Enemy unit neutralized. own health, which is really stupid. If that would have been better used. Entering combat. dead because you fucking suck. So gonna come over here. There are certain things that make me angry about games. Shitty controls or controls that like are intuitive but not responsive. Like they're one of them. right and going after the guns. God damn it, don't take out fucking Largo. He gives me a move. Okay, so... See, it's always a question of... Like, it takes... Fight 
bitch. Get out of the way, bitch. Now. Okay, take out all the guns. Three of them. Gonna come over here. Come on, fight fire. like a Return man, fire. Huh? Return fire. Okay. That way's a lot easier. That leaves two radiators. Keep it up, Sevens. Lieutenant, squads one and three have suffered heavy losses out east. I'm pulling them out. Welcome. It's me, Valdio. I'm sorry, but we couldn't do a thing against her. She had a spiral lance and shield. They, they were the arms of a Valkyria, Welkin. It's likely her unit will be arriving there soon, as backup. Do not, I repeat, do not engage her. Now hurry up and stop that tank. Understood. Okay. We need those radiators out now, Sevens! Well, they just went down, so I can't really do anything. Uh, honestly, I think you're pretty safe up here. I'm not too sure, but I mean... No harm, right? Do my best. I'm gonna get Carl out of this trench because I have a feeling there's gonna be a retreat part of this map. So it has to be with a mortar or anti-tank thing, or else it just doesn't, it just does damage. Otherwise, everything else is a one-shot. Yes. forgot that I had a back cannon. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm calling Alicia back over there just to get the move. You say so. I'm gonna move Cesare out. Because that thing is gonna get through. I am going to do is oh it just pushes everyone out of the out of the tank when it moves. Which I call bullshit on. Whatever. You go 
over the cover. Go over cover. Fucking hate this. It's like games where you don't have a jump, but like you should totally have a jump. Hope I didn't just crush someone on my team. have all of them set up. What I do need is I need to have mechanics at the ready. Because as soon as that thing fires its cannon, they're probably the best ones to go in there. Because they have good movement. And they have grenades. Grenades out the wazoo, I might mean. add. So they're just good to have ready. And I would prep them and get up on the ladders, but that seems to damage them sure. when the tank moves. So I'm just gonna set him up there. And because there aren't the side guns, there's not much I can really do. So I'm gonna end here, conserve those two moves. Oh my god. Okay, that's good. Radios are open now. Okay. So that just takes as a turn, which is really... that's useful. Now I have more moves. Got this a lot. Okay. So let's get Carl in there. Even though this radiator is damaged, it would still take uh, uh, several, or that radiator is damaged, it would still take several uh, which McCollums. Okay, I do like it was just one grenade and it works. Although I have a feeling because, yeah. Once you reach a certain point, it's gonna cut scene. Lord Maximilian. Cobalt flames of the Valkyra. Smite our foes! Okay, so they have some magic on their side, and I'm calling some bullshit. Backup troops have arrived. If the reports are true, we can't beat it. Everyone, focus on that last radiator. Would love to. But, holy shit. They're all just up there now. The last one's gonna be at the back. Target locked. And I already I already have another uh, All troops, person there. So I'm gonna do is so I'm gonna set up for their approach. Okay. So she can just tag them. I don't know what her deal is. I don't know why she can just tag them from the distance that which she's from. What the shit? She just did some magic stuff. My legs aren't listening to me. 
Okay, so we are focusing literally all our efforts on that last... Uh, on that last person. And... So, she can't get her, but she can still get her. Entering combat! I wasn't really expecting it to hit. And I want to get her into the safety of... At least there. And if those guys are going to be coming down here... Then I want her... so far and almost killed him just outright. I'm actually gonna move him. <laughs> so they don't have any some of them with good because if I can at least get a few get? of the people out of that large group without losing any of my people I feel like it's the evasion for the turn. Uh, I might do it just in case. So that's a shock trooper, that's a scout, that's a lancer. Oh, I don't have any ammo. Fuck. Well, might as well. Didn't realize I didn't have any ammo. Shit. Do I have any... Yes. Carl may be able to I'll make it best. to him. Hey, where is everybody? Right here, bud. So might as well just use it. I don't want to see the beauty out here. Because I'm worried about this shock. God damn it. You need to get better at shooting, you pieces of shit. I'm really glad I took out that the tanks many amounts of turrets. Oh my god. They're gonna be able to move so much. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I need them to move at least just enough for uh, 
him to use the big cannon. What the fuck? Um, how is this fair? Um, what? What? I guarantee I would not have been able to kill her. Does she only get two turns per move? Or two moves per turn? Can I? Is everything else good? What? Oh my god. I'm just resting. Man, I don't want my people to die, but they're not going to be able to be saved because Oh god. I need that tank to move and use his cannons. I don't I don't know how else I'm going to do this and I don't want to do this battle again. She has like a scout's movement and is way too powerful. And I don't want my characters to die. Because John was a pretty good character. Am I gonna have to escape from this? Or, like. What? There was no counter? <sighs> this... this fight is just irking me from a... simply from the standpoint of... Oh no. Okay. I was about to be really pissed if somehow able to just hit my weak point. You know why this absolutely sucks? Because the cannon, I can't even kill it with the radiator. It has yet to do anything more. Me not doing that first wall may have screwed me over. I'm not sure. I don't know what to do now. Um. Okay. Entering combat. What I do now. Move here. Okay, kill those two guys. I'm worried about her potential in killing me. Okay, so now with that. tank.
Don't let that tank through. God. Try to keep your heads down. You say so. Where? I want all of you returning alive. God damn it, I thought I was gonna be able to see that fucking shock trooper. Damn it. Got the shock trooper. Target silenced. Head for the next one. So go in here. And um I um orders, I guess all units evade. This is it's probably would have been useful last turn, but I'm also not sure because I don't know what freaking Silverina's like stats are. Heed my words and no victory. Loose your fire, men. Annihilate our enemies. Like I need I need this tank to shoot its cannon, like now. Oh, come on. You're aimed right at it. And she's immune to damage. Great. And I can't lose- I can't lose my- one of my snipers. Cesare got to safety. And putting her into there. And this one is the toughie. So I'm gonna move the tank. Okay, so you don't. Should be 
fine-ish. Of course. Shit! Motherfucker! Oh my god. people that I know. Stand. Because I need her. I need, I need Claudia. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to take out the tank. I'm going to pull back Carl. how long this lasts. I'm not sure if it's only like one turn, like during my turn, or if it's throughout the battle. I'm not sure. Which annoys me. Use your cannon. Yes! Okay. So now, the radiator is at the back. That's open. Entering combat. I need to block off... Suspicious sight of of her. That way, Claudia can run in. Okay, climb. Good. God, this was. So much more stressful than I really wanted it to be. Okay. It's me, I won. All right, that's the last of the radiators. Ah, presumptuous little vermin. Your grace, are you all right? Fine. The tank itself is perfectly intact, though so not for long at this rate. Understood. I'll be there momentarily, sir. They're literally right outside the tank. The enemy tank has been damaged. That should also impair its defenses, Sevens. Everybody, concentrate fire on that tank. Oh my God. Take it down. I don't have any more. destroyed. I don't have enough things for that. So I'm wondering if this is just it can't do anything right now. Okay. 
guess I'll save that last move. Okay. So, as is right now, it should move. Do what it does. But, nothing can hurt me except for Sylvius or whatever, Selvina, whatever the hell this bitch is. Okay, that, that, that can also do damage. Cool. Oh, please don't go around. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that as your move. I'll happily take that as your move. Because now I have those guys. Which I'm glad for. Here we go! Um Okay, so that was I'm not sure how much better my... Because these guys might not even hit from the range they're at. So I'm going to wait until they're closer. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so I have... I have plenty of moves. But what I do need to be careful of is that I don't just, like, die. So I'm gonna use. Gotta love nature. I do not want to end current action. I'm gonna, end. I'm gonna take that. I can do one more attack with the tank. Okay, so now it's doing pretty damn good on damage. It's almost, it's almost dead. But I need to use Claudia. Heal my tank to make sure that I can still do tanky things. And I'm going to end the turn here. Because it seems like the tank is going to move, shoot, and uh, White Hair Bitch is going to just walk around. Because there's no one directly in her vicinity that is... I don't know. Like, I don't know why she doesn't attack why she doesn't go around and get Claudia, but I may have just jinxed it. But it seems like now she's at a point where she's just trying to stay next to the tank, unless there is people directly in her path to impede the progress. Okay. So now I can totally kill the tank within. One. Here we go. Two. <sighs> Here we go. Three. Fire. Okay. Did it. Oh my god, that was that was so stressful. Turn to advance. Don't let Maximilian get away. Oh my god, look at all that XP. Holy shit. <sighs> I'm seized. I'm guessing that's probably for scouts, so I'm hoping that's really good, and I'll be able to get that from get that to uh Alicia. Alicia. Sorry, but everyone's not a magic person like you that can just shoot blue fire. Ready? Fire! 
fuck. Holy shit. That's really fucking impressive. See that? She deflected a tank shell. Such power. Hmm. I see Gallia's peasant army has the will to win. All units, retreat! Protect his grace at all costs! God. Like, I wonder if she could just tank a cannon shell as long as, like, she's imbued with that power. That's my question. Okay, I'm gonna save after that. Holy shit, we, like, this episode has been going on... Because we did the stealth episode, and we did the... this. And it's... This has been quite long. So let's finish, let's finish this chapter and then call it to an end. God. sustaining heavy casualties ourselves. We never thought the commander of the entire Imperial force would be there. Not just the commander. Maximilian had that woman with him. What was she? I can't believe she's human. In her hands, born cobalt lance and shield. Therewith to strike down all man's arrows. What? One account of the Valkyra describes them in those terms. You can't mean that she... But they existed thousands of years ago. If they'd survived, we'd know. I'm not saying I'd buy all the legends either. I realize that it sounds a little crazy. But what we saw out there could only have been the Valkyria of legend. I know. Chapter 8, The Woodland Snare. Okay, so we're gonna have some uh, wood fighting. Oh my god, okay. So let's go to headquarters, and I will possibly be able to get my people to level 11. And that's why I want to keep... I'm gonna keep this episode going until I level, level up. Okay, cool. Plenty of XP. How are you doing? Good work. Yeah. Class up. Good. Upgrading your unit classes to elites adds a special bonus atop their normal growth. Because each class does get stronger the more levels you add. Some classes also become able to wield new types of advanced weaponry. Keep up the training and try to get all of the squad seven units up to elite status. Congratulations, scouts! As of today, you are elites! That means clearance for rifle grenades! Yeah. That's good. That's awesome. And now you can see that the XP needed for each uh, level is vastly higher than other ones. So, I'm going to level you, level you. And you're still less than a thousand, so I'll level all y'all. Uh, I'm not sure which one I'm going to focus on next. I may focus on Sniper. Uh, attack boost. One ally's anti-personnel attack power. Anti-personnel. Okay. Learned aim boost. One ally's accuracy. So that would be good, again, good for a Sniper to learn. Nope. Um, I could level them up again. Uh... Not sure, because this one goes up. Uh, I'm gonna level the snipers again, because I like using the snipers, and that's really the only reason. And I want them to be better. Um, I'm gonna keep the XP at where it is. Uh, do you have anything for me, Mr. Man? I don't I don't have XP for it, but I'm ready to say no to you again, you piece of shit. I'll teach you healing requ Oh yeah? Use it to request a medic to heal a single Yeah, I would love to. Nice. Yeah, I asshole. I don't know what like I don't know why it's not just like a shop. It's so dumb. 
Like, if you're going to have something like this where it teaches you things, why does it... I'm guessing they put it between every certain amount of battles or something. But why not just have it be a shop that uses experience? You have Castlefront and R&D that use the money as money, and then you have this that uses XP essentially as money. Why not just have this be another money, you, another XP, like, dropper? Where every, like, after you drop so much XP into it, you get an order. And, like, every level you get another order. Like, I don't understand why they had to make it so, like, oh, yeah, you need to have this certain amount every so often. You need to come here and get it. it it's a very asinine system. And it annoys me. But... Let's go to the R&D facility. This episode is going to be long, or I'm well, going to cut it halfway. I'm I don't know. Um, rifles. Uh, I'm here just checking them out because I believe... Uh, I'm not sure if you just get the secondary armament. Uh, it seems you do. Okay, so... I wasn't sure if you just got the secondary, like, arm armament from, uh, from elite statusing. Okay. Edelweiss, how are you doing, bud? Okay. Reinforce armor? Yes. Let's reinforce that armor. And rivet. Okay. Body HP also up? Yes. Those are just good things to have. And those are tread defense. And tread health. Okay, nothing more there. Okay. So, with that, I will now Don't do my again. final stop at the uh, castle front. Hey! Drop. Oh, and how about the new rising star of. I couldn't help but snipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look at these. I don't understand why it's like, oh, you go in there, read them, and then you leave and you get it. Why can't you just access Come both? The it's like, oh, one more screen. Would have taken up too much space in the memory of the game. C couldn't have it. Personnel tab, weaponry tab. Uh, let's go to tab, select skirmish. Any new skirmishes I can do? No? Okay. Um, tab. Ah, oh, yes, I, uh, I wanted to see if I could equip Alicia with, uh, that new rifle and whether or not it was better. And I hope it, like, all these weapons have been better in a certain way, but not, like, a very good way. <laughs> like, less range, worse aim, but the damage of it goes up very much. And I'm thinking about putting this on her because she has that skill that sometimes procs where she doesn't miss. So you know what? I mean, I just run up and shoot people in the face anyway, so might as well just do damage. More damage. <sighs> okay, and they all do have the Rand Greaser M2, which is really nice. And it says ammo one because I believe you only have one grenade to throw. So. Uh, feels good to be at level 11 and be able to, uh, now I can level up all my classes instead of just one. I mean, not that that was ever, not like I could only do it. It was just a matter of uh, wanting to be as efficient as possible. So with this, I am going to end the episode. I hope you all... Have a very wonderful and not stressful at all day. <laughs> See you guys.